Now let us check a simple program on structures. In this program, we are going to define a structure employee having fields as name, ID and phone number. We are going to accept values for each of this data member and we are going to reprint it. So here is how we are going to define this structure. I'm writing struct as a keyword, then my structure name employee and inside of curly braces, I'm writing char name as character array, then EMP ID as an integer and phone number as a long. And then inside of our main function, I'm declaring a structure variable e of type employee and I'm asking user to enter name for this employee and I'm going to store it in a dot name. Similarly, I'm going to ask user to enter employee ID which is going to store it in a dot emp ID and finally I'm asking user to enter phone number and it will be stored at the address location of a dot phone underscore number. And once we have received all the inputs, we can simply print all the values on output screen which user has entered. So for that, I'm using these three printf statements. So in the first statement, I am printing e dot name as percentage in the next line e dot emp id we are going to print it as an integer and then finally e dot phone underscore number as long variable this is the first time that we have used long as a data type it is nothing but an integer which can store higher numbers we are going to learn about more data types in coming lectures